What's up? Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, as you can see, I've done some progress. Um, I still don't feel halfway done. There's a lot of work to do. I added another provided ready to spray in here, then I stenciled this one, which I plan to paint. The skin is, you know, full of different colors. I'm going to add some vegetation on this side over here. Vegetation? Yeah. That's cool. Um, maybe some type of abstract flowers. Um, the skin, <coughs> it's, I want it to be very layered to look like I spent like two years on it. Forever. Forever. <laughs> like I want people to look at it closely and see like an array of colors and things like that. I like it. Um, the, I added yellow to this heart. Uh, what else did I do? I added ye more yellow to the hair. This is still not finalized at all. What about I'll that bird? That stencil? Yeah, it's not even done yet. Okay. I think I'm going to paint it in like really carefully. Yeah. But nothing here is yet finalized. It's still in the beginning stages. I like it. I It, it does look very detailed. So what do you think your art style is? Well, you know what? It's it, funny you should ask that because I've always kind of like asked that question in my mind. And it's always changed because I've always, you know, I get inspired by different people at different times. So, you know, when I was painting the Fridas, it was like folk art. You know, I've done some Cubist paintings in the past. So, um, but I think this is very different than, um, from anything else I've painted. But I think one thing that's constant is the fact that um, it, it's so brightly colored. And I think a lot of my work uses bright color. I use a lot of reds, a lot of bright yellows. Actually, like my base color is typically a yellow or a blue. So in that sense, I think, well, if I go by what, you know, what the terms mean, Fauvism, you know, which is a French word that meant wild beast, its emphasis was on color, not on representing objects or people, you know, accurately. It was more about emotions and color, line, things like that. And I, I think if I had to put myself in a category, it would have to be Fauvism. Kind of like Henry Matisse. Henry Matisse, he was like the leader of, or the, the one who started the movement, Fauvism. And it was all about color. Um, you know, the critics are the ones who coined the term, so it's going to be interesting to see once, well, I was going to say if, but once I make it, <laughs> <laughs> what they classify my work under. Because I think the, the, the only constant in my work is how it's so bright. Because, you know, what, some paintings are so different from the next. But do you have to be just one of, like, what if you do one painting on one style, then another another style, you have to do everything with one style. I don't, I don't understand that. Well, I think... People evolve into their own style. Like Picasso started painting out, painting really realistic images, and after that he started his blue period, and after that he had his rose period, and then cubism, and then the abstraction of you know the women, you know, I guess, which was still classified under cubism. But his progression, I mean, you could see it. You know, throughout the years he um, evolved, and I feel like I'm jumping from one you know, style to the other, but. I mean, I haven't been painting that long. I think once I become been painting for several years, I think I will hone in more on what I'm good at or what I enjoy most. But right now, it's very experimentational. I think I like experimental. To ex yeah, I like to experiment with you know techniques, with subject matter. So we'll see how this ends up. But I'm having a lot of fun painting it, and my students are learning about Hiner Matisse. So maybe that's why. Maybe there's a lot of Henry inspiration here, just because at at work I talk I've been talking been talking about him. I can't talk today, <laughs> but it started very Basquiat because I started talking about Basquiat last week. Now this week this week is Matisse, so <clears throat> maybe if next week I talk about Dali, Dali will find himself in my painting. Dali, oh my gosh, he was a character. He was. You know, I have his biography, and I read like the first 50 pages and all the stories in there were very 
extreme. But then I read somewhere that his biography, I mean, he wrote it, so a lot of the things were exaggerated. Oh, maybe he's <laughs> your best friend. <laughs> Do you have a mustache? What are you having your shirt? Oh, it's a mustache. I, I love it. Like, um, stickers and I just put it on there. It's so cool. I love it's, it. I have a thing for mustache. I can't really grow one. It, I, this <laughs> has taken me like two months without shaving. So I'm jealous of those people who have a full beard, full beard or a full mustache. Because that's something that I cannot grow. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, well, Dali, yeah. Yeah, a Dali mustache. Yeah, that goes into it. Yeah. Imagine if I grew mine like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are quite a character just as it is. Everywhere we go, it's like, oh, can I take a picture with you and stuff? It's crazy. It's fun. So imagine when you imagine. can grow your own mustache. Maybe I need to put some... What was that thing they used for plants to make them grow fast? <laughs> <laughs> miracle grow. <laughs> <laughs> I need some miracle grow for my mustache. Yeah, yeah that would be good. And for my hair, because I think I'm balding from back here. <laughs> but my break covers it up. Oh, I love that uh, hairstyle. What, what's up with that? Are you, do you have a braid or what? I have three braids. What? You know, braids are going to be the new thing for guys in 2016. That's cool. Oh, did you make it yourself? Yeah, this morning, but... That's cool. It's not very good because I can't do it. I mean, I just learned to do it on myself. So you wish... Is that a hint for me to learn? <laughs> my wish is for you to learn to braid. So you hint, can braid hint. <laughs> hint, hint. Now you can learn anything on YouTube. You need to start watching <laughs> tutorials on how to braid hair. I know, right? Yeah, well... It's crazy how you can learn so many things on YouTube. I mean, I, not... Cool, I guess. Like if I ever wanted to learn how to, you know, make lasagna, I'm sure that somewhere on there, there's a recipe for lasagna and how to make it. Mm -hmm. You know, by the way, I love lasagna. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm just hungry right now. Give a shout out to our friend Anna. Yeah, we had a friend who from Spain and when she lived here she would cook we were never hungry when Anna was around because <laughs> she cooked so good yeah too bad she's gone miss you Anna <laughs> so okay I like his eye like it's very ex like I can see the expression or something vivid you know eyes for me are really hard to paint like for the longest time, I used to, if I painted someone, their eyes were always closed. <laughs> <laughs> but, because they're hard to paint. But, since this painting is a, the style of Fauvism, this eye doesn't have to look real. Mm -hmm. I should, it just has to, you know, be there. So, we'll... So I'm not too concerned about this eye. I'm concerned about the fact that they don't look like my friends. Don't you think? Well. I mean, there's still, like, I have to kind of put the shadows around the mouth and the nose, but... Well. I don't think that it looks like... Well, it's not a picture. If they want to look like themselves, they can get a Take Polaroid. Photograph. You're right. You know, it's about them, and it was inspired by them, but... As long as they know that, you know, and I know that, then that should be good. But, you know, I haven't found a spot for that pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to watch the other video. Somebody left a comment. You, you didn't watch the last video. The first one, I think. Yeah, I think it was the first one. A suggestion of a pterodactyl. Third you know what? Like now that I'm adding all this vegetation on this side, maybe you can might. Be, maybe it can work down there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know the bad thing about paint painting with acrylic, 
Like, I have all this paint, and if I were to stop painting right now, then the next, in a couple of minutes, this would all be dried and I can't use it. Oh. So oh. now I have to paint until this is all gone. Okay, so but stay I, tuned for yeah. the next three hours, people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't bore you with all that. Um, I love but, the neck. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'm starting to like it. It's starting. Yeah. The thing is, like, all of this is really work, and here I feel like there's not enough things going on. Like it's too chaotic down here. So I have to Can I really like unfixes. make like a close up? Because you cannot you cannot tell really really what's going on. Can I just for, for one it. second? So your subscribers can see like there's a lot of detail going on. It's pretty cool. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I wanna give a shout out to um, to Adam, to Anthony, and to Destiny, because I know they're always watching. Um, stay tuned. Um, next time you'll see more progress. And, and to your, the teacher that you were very like. Oh, yeah, Miss Bailey for sharing my video. Shout out to her. Awesome. Uh, please share, subscribe, <laughs> and like. And see you probably Friday. I think I'll add another one on Friday. Okay. Well, till next time, guys. Bye-bye. Adios. <laughs>